must stop. Are you hearing me? You must stop with this nyaupe. Come here. You want to change? You want to stop? Yes. Huh? Yes. You want to leave? Yes. Can you accept Jesus today? Yes. As your Lord and Savior? Yes. You leave the issue of nyaupe because he's giving you problems, this man. Aye. The way you're doing is not good. Mama, don't cry. Don't cry. Come. Come. Lift her up. Lift. This is painful. It's very painful. Mama, he's destroying your house. He's killing things in the house. You put money, you don't know where the money went. And now you'll start to sell things in the house. Brother, will you stop Nyaope today? Yes. Huh? Yes. This woman will die because of you. Oh, you hear me? Now you are stealing money now. So change. Give your life to Christ. You'll be free. All of us that we are here, God loves you. Huh? All of us that we are here, we are coming from somewhere. You hear me? It's not true. Huh? Not like me. Hmm? All of us that were here, we come from somewhere. You hear me? We had mistakes in life. So give your life to Christ. You want to do that? Yes. Huh? Yes. So do you take Mama's money? I, do, I never steal him when I ask for it. Yes, in the house sometimes I steal. <laughs> so God loves you. Oh, you hear me? God loves you. At your age, ne? at your age, let me tell you, at your age, at your age, take right decisions. Mama, he's saying he doesn't steal money. Take everything too. He takes everything. Yes. I want God to help him today. Yes, please. That's what I want. I want God to help him. He needs to know this thing that all of us, there's no one who's perfect here. You see, in the whole church here, yes. brother, no one is perfect. We've got histories. Others were prostitutes. Others were drug dealers. I can show you drug dealers. Should I show you? One go again. Baba, I'm going to be drug dealer, or not? Yes. But today, they took their lives and gave their life to Christ. Because I saw some drug dealers there, that side. But they are here, they want to change. So now, if you come to church, no one must condemn you. You hear me, brother? Yes. No one, you can understand English, right? Yes. If you come to church, no matter how sinful you are, this is a place we need you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. No matter what. The blood of Jesus can wash away everything. Amen. So a place where, whether you're a bad sinner, you're a killer, you're this, come here. Come here. This is your right place to be fixed. Amen. God will fix you. Because all, everyone that is here, if God can open your eyes, brother, let's say God opens your eyes now, you'll see all, all of them, these people, they were very bad. The Magalambi. So now, just take that step, which will be a good step for you. Give your life to Christ. Otherwise, Mama will die before time now. You see, I'm taking time with you. It means God loves you. You understand? Thank you. You see, even me. Hey, Mfo. We come far. We come from far. At our age, at my age, I know that when police are coming in my school, they were searching for me. So please, today here, look now, I'm wearing a suit. So even you, God loves you. God loves you. God loves you, brother. God loves you, huh? You know, these are the people, if they come here, we condemn them, they're not going to come again. And we don't have power to condemn anyone. God loves you. 
Mama is tired. Look at all this brother is crying. He wants to change, eh? You want to change, brother? <laughs> My God. Can you pray for him? Pastor Mr. Pray about something with us. I love you, brother. Come here. God loves you. you know? God loves you, brother. So you must listen to what I'm telling you. I know what you've been doing. I know everything. Even other things, I didn't speak them here. I know, but I want you to understand this thing. All of us, we come from someone. One day, you look at your life and you, you thank God and say, I did well by taking that decision that day. Pastor, pray for him to accept this. I think it will be good. He's ready to change. He's ready this man. Hey, let's finish up with clothes, hey. Brother, come. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle J. B. and Prophetess T. E. Maganinisa. And with me here today is my mother and brother who received a prophecy from the men of God. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Leonora Mdala and uh, I am with my firstborn son, Pio Ntuze. Mm. We are from Elim in Limpombo. Originally, we are from Port Elizabeth. Today you received a prophecy from the man of God, U Prophet Andre Simono. Please tell us in detail what the man of God said to you today, and please confirm. Oh, the man of God, uh, Prophet Andre, prophesied to my son, that the, he's smoking something and he must stop. He's a good, he's a good man and we love him. He must change and then ask him, are you ready to change? He said, yes, I am ready to change. And then he asked him to receive Jesus. And then he said, yes, I'm willing and I'm ready to receive Jesus. He prayed for him. And I believe my son is delivered. And I am also delivered in the name of Jesus. So Ma, please tell us how long has he been smoking and how has it been affecting you as a parent? It affected me so much in a such way because I was always crying. I cannot put anything. It's like he was just trying to destroy me and my spiritual life because he would take everything in the house. Everything, just take it and sell it. I have nothing because of him. And how do you feel that today the men of God located you and prayed for you along with your son today? Uh, today I, would be, I believe that there's something will happen because on Wednesday, last Wednesday, we were here sitting in that site when the, when the daddy camp, uh, uh, Apostle Makananisa, he saw him standing there up there. He said, Mama, I think on Sunday we must come back here before the, 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 the Apostle preached. And then he said, no, we must come on Sunday here. Yeah. And then we come and by that faith and I pray, although Satan in the morning was fighting to him, he must, he must, he must run away. But by the grace of God, we are here and he's delivered in the name of Jesus. I praise the Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for the deliverance for my son, for our deliverance. Because when I was sitting there, I was crying to God for all my children my family i'm tired in jesus name thank you jesus so ma how do you feel that today the man of god spoke to you and spoke about the problem of your son yo <laughs> i feel so great so great i thank you jesus i feel so great you see there's something that's come out of me now that that heavy load I was caring, as the man of God said, your mother is going to die before time because of you. Yes. And any words of encouragement to somebody who's currently watching us? 
So what I can try, can advise people outside there to keep on trust in the Lord. No matter what you are going through. And even my son told me, said, Mama, the faith you have that I'm going to get delivered, is, is making me afraid. He said that on me on Wednesday. I said, I know the grace of that church. I know the God of that church. <clears throat> I've been in Cherries from 2014. I go there, I go there, I go there. Even him, I go with him at Masia's prison to Bishop Kinsan. Is where I, 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 I check. I go there every Sunday church. Yes. Thank you so much. They must just keep on trusting in God. No matter what problem you are saying you are facing keep on trusting in God in him there is no failure ne never mind how long does it take but I one day is one day uh, the so best time is here to come the God's time is the best <laughs> okay thank you very much So, the music, yeah, the conversation, So, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Zipiu. I'm coming from Port Elizabeth. But uh, for a while, I was here in Pulukwana. I was working in Pulukwana after my job got finished. I could not up, uh, pay rent, and then I have to go to my mother in Elim and stay with her. Today, you received a prophecy from U Prophet Andrew Simono. Please tell us in detail what the men of God said to you and please confirm. Um, he was talking uh, the honest truth. I'm still in at home, like, uh, like no one's business. My mama, like, she have to hide her money, bags, everything, if she hides stuff. Like, uh, the last time I break even a uh, head door in her room, I take some stuff, I go and sell them just only to smoke. And now, now, recently, I was coming out of prison for shoplifting, for stealing people's stuff. So what the man of God was saying, it was 100% true. And uh, the way I was stressing my mother, that's why also I decided, like, um, let me just listen for once and then I come here, you see. Yeah. And it's true, early in the morning today, like, uh, it's me who told her Wednesday when I want to come here on Sunday. But uh, early in the morning today, I don't know what I don't know what happened. I just like left at home. And then she told me, uh, she she tricked me. She said, uh, we are leaving at 11. Exactly at 11 we are leaving, you must be here. So we're here in Kahi. So, so I told her, um, I will be there at 11, don't worry, I'm just going to the shop, I will come back now. So I stay with friends, I smoke, uh, and then when it was around past 11, then I come back home, I know she's gone. All along she was there in the house, she was living around 12, you see. Yeah, it was something like that. Uh. So the man of God spoke about an addiction, right? Yes. Please tell us what is it that you are addicted to, and how long have you been addicted to it? Um, I'm... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm addicted with heroin, uh, uh, meaning that I'm addicted with Nyawope, uh, and uh, I think I started it around 2017, 2016, around there. Uh, I was smoking cocaine, um, so when I smoked cocaine, I could not sleep, so someone, some friends, they were smoking in front of me, I smoked with them, and then uh, my life was not right, uh, my love life, and... Uh, I decided, I don't know why, I decided to leave work because, so, because of so many things, like one, and then uh, that was then I started to be hooked on heroin, on Nyaope. And how has this been affecting you individually as a person, the, the addiction, how has it been affecting you? Hey, she's still, um, yes, yes. Uh, it makes me feel less of a man. I've got three children that I love too much, like Tandukazi, Latita, and Litita here in Pulkwana. You know, not to be able to provide for them, not to be able to be there for them, like more. It's something else, you know. It's something else, you know. Like now, this year, like, uh, I never even buy them Christmas shoes. I don't have money. Something else, it's painful. 
boy. So it's like sometimes I just rather smoke and die and sleep. You don't know even when was my last time to dream. You see, when we you when you smoke, you don't even dream. You see, I don't remember. I've got many years I'm not dreaming. If I will dream, I have to get arrested. Maybe I stop smoking for some few days. When I'm in prison, I will organize it. I will do stuff in prison to get it again. You see. And how do you feel that today the man of God spoke to you and prayed for you? Light. Light, very light. Light, very light. And, uh, I know, like, uh, there's so many things out there they can. But I love God. God is, and uh, I believe I'm going to stop it. And I believe I stop it. And what words of encouragement do you have to somebody who's currently addicted and to something? What is it that you have to say to them? You know, guys, it's like uh, all of us, born, we go, all of us, we've got problems behind. Born, like we're coming from different backgrounds. But uh, to smoke, like I know it's something that makes you feel good, but that is not the way. All of us sitting there, we know that is not the way. Like, if I can explain just only one thing to you, sis. Nyawupe, it's not Satana who came in disguise, it's Satana who came straight. Because uh, you wake up in the morning, there's nothing else you are thinking about. You open your eyes, there's nothing else you are thinking about. You are thinking about it, and you will do anything to get it. So, Everyone who's out there who's listening, what I know, they, what I'm saying now, they know the problem of cracking. I know it's not only in the mind you feel the pains, but uh, there are things, there are ways, like, well, without rehab, like, you come to church, you get someone to talk to, someone you, someone, someone you believe in. Like me, I share everything with my mother. So, like uh, if you can get someone to talk to, you see, you try, you try to stop it by yourself. If you can't, and then there are medicine which are out there, like methadone. Uh, that is the only way. But uh, if you want to stop it by yourself, come to church. I, I mean, like uh, I don't want to lie. You know, like uh, I never thought me like I would say this. I never believed that you will touch me. I will fall. If you can know where I'm coming from, Swami, there's no man can touch me in the head. I fall, no man. But uh, I came here, I saw stuff, you know, and I don't know what is happening. I just say, just come to church, Jesus. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh,